Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we're going to be looking at the new TMNT Classics Collection Donatello, which is from the second movie. He's got some pretty cool accessories that are directly from the movies and he's basically the same as all of the other turtles, so there's not going to be a whole lot to say, but we're going to run through it anyway. So let's get him off the stand and take a closer look. Now, this guy stands just about 16 and a half centimeters, which makes him just about six and a half inches and you'll notice that he's kind of brown for for being green he's kind of brown and i'm not sure i don't remember that being the case in the movies so it's a little bit odd that they are all different colors uh it's definitely more you know i'm not i'm not sure when did that happen because i'm pretty sure in the cartoon they were all the same color at least the first one and in the comics they were all the same color. When did that happen? Was that that second cartoon when they were all buff and badass looking? You guys can let me know if you know that kind of thing. I don't, but I don't think it's accurate for the movies, but it's not a huge deal. Uh, he does look pretty good all around. As I've said in the other reviews, they definitely could use more paint and maybe textured skin, but otherwise the sculpt work is really nice. He's got some pretty cool accessories. We get the bow staff, which goes in in his back, right here, like that. And it does have paint on it, so that's pretty cool that they painted the wraps on there. So I like that. I'm not sure it's supposed to go straight up and down, but it definitely could be worse, so that's okay. Then we get a broom, or a mop, which is from the uh, scene in April's apartment from the second movie, so that's kind of cool. It's not, <laughs> not the best mop ever, but it's cool that they included it. We get the little foam baton from, I'm pretty sure, the first movie, when they meet Kino. So that's kind of cool. Then we have four interchangeable heads. We have the one with kind of like a half smirk. We have an open mouth smile, a closed mouth smile, and one that looks really goofy in general. So maybe not the best accessories in the world, but they are included, so that is okay by me. In terms of articulation, the heads can look up and down because they're on a big ball peg. You can lean them from side to side, and you can rotate them around, so that's pretty cool. The shoulders have the full range of a, of a true ball hinge, no problems at all there. You have your bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, works really well. You have a wrist swivel and a hinge hidden by those wrist wraps. It's kind of stiff, but it is in there. And then the thumb is on a hinge and a swivel, so that's cool. And then the fingers are individually hinged, so you won't have any trouble posing these guys or having them hold their accessories. The belts are soft on their torso, so you can use that diaphragm joint to lean them forward or back or side to side or just rotate it around. It's not the most range, but it's definitely enough. For the hips, it's just a ball peg. They can go all the way out to the side. Not so far forward, though. It's kind of disappointing, but it is okay. You can rotate the legs around on that ball peg, so having that cut joint, not necessary, but it's not a deal breaker. We have a double jointed knee, which works pretty nicely. I'm okay with that. Then we have a really nice ankle hinge, which works really well in both directions. And then it rotates, which is definitely not an ankle rocker, which would have been great, but it's not there. Lastly, we have a toe hinge for either side. So final word is that the figures are pretty darn good they're not great they definitely could be better but for the price point i think you're getting your money's worth and if you're a turtles fan you should definitely track them down and pick them up so there you go guys thanks for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel i have new videos up every single day uh, sometimes more than one we talk about action figures obviously we talk about video games movies tv shows all kinds of fun stuff so make sure you come back for that and in the meantime keep collecting